Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 151. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Ah, oh, man. Very special guest in the building. Reoccurring guest in the building. We've been trying to make this one happen for a little bit of time, but reintroduce yourselves to the audience. Gentlemen. What's going on, good people? It's your boy Smooth. Y'all remember me? I've been on here a few times, formerly at the GFT radio show. Me and my boy Hype go back a little minute now. Uh, so that's who I be. Like I said, like he said, we've been waiting for a minute to do this. So this is one of my favorite topics right here. Uh, Ryan Taylor, um, public servant, um, committee man, uh, thirty six board, seventh division. I'm on a few boards, uh, friends of Warrior Square Park, um, friends of FDR Park, and I'm the vice president of South Philly Sigma Sharks. You left out the most important part. I'm from Bonzo Street, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. I'm from I'm from Bonzo Street. Of course. <laughs> of <All> course. <laughs> All right. My man Smooth is another one. Y'all heard the girls from what up though last week. Shouts out to them for coming on. Ant Stokes, my guy. Uh Smooth is another one of those I'm retired folks, which I told him you will always have a safe space here to get your stuff off. <laughs> and I knew that this is one that's right up his alley. I will always give Smooth the credit for this. He always he told me this a very long time ago. Don't get mad at the other person when you can improve your argument. You got to do the homework on those situations. This is what this episode is all about. I'm trying to get my man on here. So I have, have another special guest jump in while we're recording this one. But if he comes, he comes. Uh, but this one is about the election. Uh, election 24, we're talking a presidential situation. Things were a lot more goofy when it was... Biden versus Trump, but um, I really don't even like to do like current events because I don't, I like these to be evergreen. But this is one of those things where it's like I feel that like this is important enough and we need to talk about it. So we got my man Ryan, future mayor of the city, uh, on to talk about this one, and my man Smooth, who's always looking for the other candidate. So election two thousand twenty four. Ryan, open your eyes, talk to me. You start this one off. What are we doing with the election for two thousand twenty four? Do we have any hope? Is there anything? What do we have to uh, say to the people? How do we go about this one? Yes, we have hope. As there's always hope, man. Um, I I personally think uh, some of the policies that that's uh that's on the table, um, you know, stuff that's going to affect the, the the everyday lives of people. And I'm talking about all three of us on this uh, podcast. Uh, I think those things. Uh, the light will be shed on those type of things on our everyday life, uh, especially how the economy has been. I know you guys are tired of going to the market and you spend hundred fifty dollars and you got four things. And I, I think I, I just think um, Mark, I think you going kinda, to man? I get two for being fifty. <laughs> oh, well, all right, well, you know, I I try, you know, what I'm saying? but I think those seven things will get better. Um, um, also, I, I think, I think job creation will get better. I think the, the issue with a lot of folks now is since the COVID thing happened, folks were, uh, customers not going to work. I mean, I was toured, you don't work, you don't eat. That's just, that I'm quite sure we all were toured that. Uh, but this new group of people, um, they don't believe that they're waiting for another, I guess, shutdown and hella checks to be, to be cut and all types of, uh, grants you can apply, whatever. All this, this free money. That's what they're waiting for. And um, the economy don't roll unless we, unless we're going out and we're making money. And a lot of people staying home. And I, I think that's with this election. Um, I think that that it, that it change. Um, I think um, uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, I urge people to go back to work. Uh, she'll she'll open up uh new jobs and just just more stuff. I'm me personally. I'm going to participate in the election, but uh, like I was saying before, I'm not really a national politic uh, kind of person because I, I feel like the president is just a face. Um, the real, the real ones is the Congress and the Supreme Court, <laughs> and uh, I call them the the oxygen tank warriors. You know what I'm saying? 
because they this old and they won't give it up. And I think presidential elections get you uh get you off task. They 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 hype you up for this election, knowing two years later we got a we we, we got Supreme Court and we got Congress, and people don't be focused on that stuff. They're focused on this presidential election and con. But like I said before, Congress, the Supreme Court. That's that's what we that's what we really need to be focused on. So that's that's my spiel. And of course your state uh statewide elections and your local elections. Um I, I tell guys uh from around the way all the time, man, um well, especially when judges are running, I, I try my best to bring judges to the hood that's running so I can sit my guys down and let them know. Well, this judge don't like black males from eighteen to twenty six. So, you know, you guys in your your thirties and your forties you might be safe. 18 to 26 dudes, you might be fucked. Um, you need to know this. You need to know who you, you know, who, who you're going in front of. If they're going to be lean, if they're going to be fair, if you think they think they have a they have a little racism in them, you need to know this kind of stuff. So I'm more focused on the local stuff, but I will participate in uh this this national deal. And there's no beef against Trump. It's just I just don't like um I don't like his politics. I I, I just I don't um and he 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 plays he plays with politics. I don't think it's nothing to play with when you when you when there's people lives lives on the line. So let me so. jump in here before uh, you go smooth. Um, this was something that we talked about before. Me and Big Dan, shout out to Big Dan from BTG. Uh, it should be like a criteria for voting, like twelfth grade, because you know that these people are now going to go out into the world and have the right to vote. We need to be already preparing these seventeen, some already eighteen year olds for your different uh, elections, your your local politics before you could get to the national situation. The thing that everybody does at 18 is I'm a Democrat, so I'm voting Democrat. I'm a Republican, so I'm voting Republican. Or nobody in my life is emphasizing voting at all, so I'm not even voting. Regardless to the fact that you know if this person is for you or against you, if they got policies and things that you like, you don't know none of that because you didn't do none of that homework. You just either went just so you can get the sticker that says I voted or you just didn't go because it wasn't a thing that was important in your situation. Them local situations are very important because them local situations, like you just said, are the ones that affect things. Me and Ryan, full disclosure, for people who don't know, we from the same exact block, so we know the same exact niggas that's in jail. And when this person sends him to jail, I make sure, okay, when it's time to vote, you sent my man to jail. Why are we not voting for you? <laughs> you weren't a fair, like, I, now we're not going to just everybody's innocent type situation, but if these situations where it's like, no, oh, up but y'all got evidence that this happened and that happened and you didn't pay none of that attention then we gotta we can't vote for this guy just because he's with us like and that's the thing that people don't emphasize that's the thing that people don't do the homework on again smooth give you the credit for this people don't do that homework people don't try to improve those situations people don't try to look at it they just go just like uh chris rock said when barack first ran he's black i'm black so i guess that's why like that's why i'm voting for him and sometimes that ain't cool. Sometimes that ain't good. Cause sometimes them niggas ain't some every nigga ain't your nigga. Like, so smooth. Go ahead. Election 2024. Where we at with this one? Uh um, man, you know, it's the regular clown show, man. The clown show every four years. The circus. Uh I'm more like Ryan, like I'm gonna participate. And and to your point, as far as I never like I never entertained the voter die or uh, getting everybody to vote because, like you said, I don't. I, me personally, I don't think everybody qualified to vote. Copy. Yeah, I, like I'm like I'm so sincere <laughs> on that. Uh, I always go back to my very first experience voting. <laughs> you know, growing up, you know, my grandma was a Democrat. Great grandma. You know, I lived with her. She was like a diehard Democrat. You know, and I mean, you know, from the other previous politics, my dad was a Republican from the projects. We're, you know what I mean, straight Republican, you know what I mean, hardcore. So, like, I used to get two different point of views uh, from from politics, which made me form my own point of view and study politics, you know, you know. But I remember when I first went to go vote, I'm in there, they putting up, it wasn't a national, it was a local election. And this is why we always talk about local elections are important. I've never, at that point in time, I never thought about the local election, only about the mayor. Okay, I'm going there and vote for mayor. But it was these other things, like freeholder, uh, councilwoman. I'm like, 
who, who, who are these people? Who are these niggas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, ain't nobody ever tell me about these niggas. Like, who are these people? You He's feel like, me? Who's, Cl- who's Clarence Walker? I've never heard of this. Yeah, like, I don't know what's <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there. I, I don't even know what a freeholder does. I'm like, y'all got me. I'm in here voting for this man. I don't even know his. I don't even know where his job is. Whatever. Boom. So I'm just hitting the hitting the joints. Voted. I walked out. And like I felt empty. Like, man, what did I just do? Am I supposed to be proud of what I just did? I don't even know what I just did. I don't know who I voted for. I could just say I voted. You yeah, feel sure. me? So I felt so bad after that. So that's when I went and I really started doing my due diligence of who to vote for. And as far as Kamala and, and Donald, like uh Ryan mentioned, I think Donald Trump is just a figurehead. I don't even think the Republicans really want him. They just know he popular. You feel me? So they're using them to push their policies. Uh, I didn't realize, what I didn't realize is how much people really hated, how much the Democrats really hated Joe Biden. Like I really underestimated they, they true disgust. For, like they felt bad for voting for him. And they got him the fuck up out of there. And you see how they r- rallying behind K- Kamala. Uh, I think they got to win what they just did with the uh, prescription drugs. Uh, break that one. We're lowering the prices. You feel me? I think that was a win for them. So I think that helped boost her numbers. I think their issue is going to be the Palestine and Israeli conflict. Uh, because a lot of Americans split on that. I know you. You you could just imagine my point of view on that. I don't want to get in too deep on that. But you know, I think they they have an issue with that. As far as Trump go, uh. Like I said, he don't really got no policies. He just, you know, like I always said, he was the result of the Obama administration. The white people hated Obama, was in there so long that they wanted him in there. You feel me? So he's the result of that, in my, in my opinion. That's why I call this a circus show, like the good brother was mentioning earlier. What's more important is the local elections, learning uh, what's going on there. As far as this go, one thing that is important is... He, Trump get the elect, the president get to elect the Supreme Court or the judges they want to go to the Supreme Court. And right now, if, if sorry if I'm mistaken, I think he got two in last time he was president. I think he, he got two in there. I think he got more than that, didn't he? He might have. He might, yeah. Yeah, he might have. That's what I said. I may be mistaken. And if he get more in, that's just going further. Uh, I think we... There's going to be a lot of regress and a, and a lot of policies that support certain uh, groups, uh, including, including black people. So, but like I said, I'm not I'm not too I'm not big of a fan of either candidate. To be honest with you, you know. And like I said, like you mentioned earlier, I, I tell people to always research the other candidates. It's not just a two party system. You feel me? They doing my brother Cordell West dirty out there. They not letting him get on ballots. You feel me? Uh, now something got okay, what. Well, well, we don't want him on the ballot split the vote. And that's what I hate about politics, about national politics and, and its party system. Like, who told you to split the vote? You feel me? Who told you your vote? Why do you expect my vote? Because I'm black. You talk about he split, like, I should be able to choose who I want to choose and not be guilt tripped into voting for this particular person or not. But that goes into what you said about the first time you voted. With the, Everybody gets the same structure of you're a Democrat or you're a Republican based off nothing of your own thoughts, ideas, feelings, or mm-hmm. nothing. Like like you said, your grandmom did it with you. My mom did it with me. I'm sure Ryan mom did it with him where they didn't explain to you like, <laughs> hey, this is why we are, this is the policies that this person believes in. This is the job that this person, they just telling you you're a Democrat so this is what we're doing. Same way other people get told you're a Republican and this is what we're doing. And it's up to you to kind of You'll do that the first couple of years just because it's like, all right, we voting today. People died for this. We got to go vote. We got to go vote. But I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. My problem with the election this year was uh, these two people that they presented, these two 80-some-year-old men that they presented to us, this boy is just flat out. He's he's flat out just racist. And this boy is sending millions of dollars to kill Muslims every day. So I can't vote for either one of you guys. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. That's just me. Uh 
do what do with that what you will. That's why I'm like, we had to figure out like who can we vote for? What is the situation? You gotta break something down to me and make me understand them. You gotta you gotta give me something to believe in here or something to go with here before I go in. Cause I've been plenty of times I went to go vote as I became an older adult where it was like, okay, I did I read about you, I read about you, I watched a couple of videos on you. I like you just said, the freeholder. I don't know what this is. So I'm not voting for neither one of you niggas because I don't know neither one of you, <laughs> and I don't want to put one of you. I don't want to put one of y'all in this situation. And it's like, oh well, damn, why y'all put him in? Because you voted for him, dummy. Go ahead. And that's why I mentioned Cornell West. Like, do I think he ever had a shot of winning? Or no. But I tell people like, go research his policies. Go see if he even think like you or you think like him. You feel me? Go cast a vote for him if if, if some of y'all uh, ideolo- ideologies align or whatever. To send a message like to to the rest of, to the other two parties, the, the dominant parties that like, like we not vibing with y'all. Y'all not you feel me? Y'all playing with us. Y'all don't just have our votes. Y'all really have to talk to us because they're not really talking to the American people. You feel me? They're not talking to the common, the average person uh, walking around here. That's why we we keep talking about local politics. That national politics, they don't really care about us, bro. This is the one thing I hate. The one thing I hate that we always do. Um, Nobody has done this, and thank you for not doing it. What they gonna do for me? Obama came in, ain't nigga ain't do nothing for me. Nobody told you when anybody got elected at any point was, hey Ryan, we gonna get you an extra six hundred dollars a week for your paycheck, specifically you, that we gonna Mm -hmm. cash you out because such and such became the mayor, a councilman a committee leader, a chairperson. Nobody has ever told you that. So I wish people would stop saying that because that is never a thing. You should never vote for anything. You should also never complain when you go to the market and you get two things for $150 because you decided not to vote. So if you're the first person, if you're the person who decides not to have an opinion, then just shut up and take it now (laughs) because you decided that you were out on it. Go ahead, bro. So with me working, um, and they gave you the extra six hundred. That's crazy. That's no, crazy. I ain't. No, I ain't getting that. <laughs> uh, but so that's, that's that's what I explained to him because they they focus like my boss for sure. He 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 loves uh he loves this. He loves this political thing. And I tell him, I say, bro, um, I, that's why I'm that's why I'm here. That's why I'm in your corner because you're in Harrisburg so much. You're going to forget kind of about where you come from, and it's not on purpose. It's just you're here all the time. And I tell them all the time, like, yo, bro, why, like, what's up with the young guys? Why they won't vote? I'm like, well, just tell me, like, why would they vote? Like, what's what's going to be done for them? And, you know, we, we had these tough conversations, and now he's starting to understand. That's why he's heavy on criminal justice reform. Because a lot of guys, you know what I mean? Pe- people made their mistakes. Cool. But to keep, like, to keep, like, killing them while they out here, they can't like make no money for themselves or feed their family. It, it, it that that narrative has gotten kind of old. The, the narrative is old, so that's why you need criminal justice reform. And that's like I said, I, I'm on my, I'm always on my boss. Like I'm on, when it's asked about that, like yo, bro, we got to get more opportunities for these guys. All right, they fucked up. These, these telling me this guy did some shit ninety four. Think I was born ninety one. Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, bro! Like, let like let him go! Like, oh man, it was a hard crime. It was a it was a hard crime. So why let him out? <laughs> like, like that that'd be my argument. And then, of course, then leave. So I work for House of Representatives. So, you know, some of them issues, a lot of it's with court, and that's why I told people it's important of who you going to, who these judges are going to be, because they are going to, they even going to eventually make your life better or your life is going you just going to be fucked for the rest of your life you might as well have stayed in jail like i feel like if you did if you did if you maxed out he maxed out now the thing is you're supposed to get rehabilitated in there right are you really rehabilitated are you, are you really doing that i don't i don't think the system i don't think the system caters to the person who's locked up Cause you're not you're not preparing him to come back out here and be I'm a about productive. To say, the system is not designed for him to come out and be a productive member of society. But, the person that gets locked up at nineteen, 
yeah. and he got like 10 years. The person at 19 and they're like, he ain't the same person at 29 or he shouldn't be. But that's my but problem that's, with the judges and the DAs. That's my problem because y'all sent them up there for that, right? Y'all ain't think the fault. Y'all should follow this. Yo, we need to make sure when he come back, he, he could be a tax paying citizen. <laughs> well, we want that's you to come back. We don't, that's not, that ain't the goal for them. The goal for them is to keep you up there, is to charge you with something else, for you to do something young and dumb while you're still 21, 22, for you to get something else to get yourself some more time. So we can get some more. We can keep this train. We can keep this ball rolling because jail is business. We all know that. <laughs> it is. Not jail. Uh, the prison system is a business. Prison, it, it is, man. I, I think it's prison, man. It, it's like I said. It's yeah, like God's. Like, that's, like, that's a whole other episode. Though. That's not even. Yeah, we give. Yeah, like I said, all thinking the in the political thing, but I mean, like like the example you made before about the about the mirror thing, right? People thinking that is is all her fault with this the tent stuff, right? And she's not even the one that controls the bill. You check in, please. No, it's not. And it's not freedom to tell. You the TV, bro. Put their body. See his back. Go ahead. What you saying about the so like situation? with the mayor, like with like with the mayor thing and the council person thing, right? People been going crazy. Yo, man, I ain't messing with the mayor, man. She he did this tent ban, and I'm like, no, that's not her work. What you mean? She ain't bring that bill out. Who did? Some councilman named Driscoll from the from the northeast. He he wrote the he got the bill. He put it in front of her, and she passed the bill. This was never her idea. So that's that's another thing. I'm like, people, you don't know who's 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 messing with your life. You trying to put the blame on her because she approved it. But what if it never came on her desk? She wouldn't have came up with that. <laughs> you you gun the whole vote for the mayor, but you ain't vote for your you ain't figure out who your council person was. But that's to go back to what Smooth was talking about. You don't even know what the hell a council person is, what they do, and you never even seen this nigga's name before. That's the because person. Because you just went in there and went, all right, I'm going to just hit the Republican joint and bang everybody Republican. I'm going to hit the Democrat and bang everybody Democrat. And that goes that goes to your point, huh? It's like, I think certain, certain things should be mandatory in school. You feel me? And the political system should be mandatory that you that, that should be a, that should be a major because, that should be like a major uh, elective type situation that you need four math credits not, to graduate nigga you need one exactly. two of these yeah but that's exactly. but but that might go to your to to, to your to your, your your prison answer yeah, she said Copy, they want them up no. there so they want Copy. them up there right what's yeah. going on brother they, they, can you hear me up, right so they yeah, saying, we, like you gotta I'm, I'm coming right to you now, Sleaze, but... No, should, I just want to make sure you can hear me should clear. And, sh what should be happening and what is happening is two totally different things. We know that. That's why I always tell people the words are important. I said they should do this. Like you saw about when a nigga gets locked up and now we got 20 years or 30 years because the nigga going to be 42 and y'all going to still talk about what he did when he was 20. Like, these two, these situations shouldn't be like this. Why can't I get a job doing what the hell ever because at 19 I had an armed robbery joint. I'm a 42 year old, probably grandfather at this point. Like I'm a totally different guy, or I should be. Some people might be 42, still 19, because you know how them situations go. But we shouldn't put everybody in that same box. Now I told y'all we may have another special guest sliding in at the end. Here is my man right here, my man Sleeze, reoccurring guest to the podcast. Sleeze, we're talking the election. We're talking about the options that we have on the board here. I know this is one of your situations. What do we have here, Sleaze? Break this one down for us. What are your thoughts? What are your ideas? Give it to us. Well, what's going on, fellas? I'm trying to get my camera back in place, but to then, me personally, like, somebody said something about, I jumped at somebody saying you need to teach it in school or whatever. At one time, politicians didn't have nothing to do with school. Had nothing to do with nobody, but really the people voicing their opinion, and you know, one day come out, you vote, and that's it. You think me to now, one day then turned into eight days for our opinion to get heard. You understand? So now when you look at it, the people that had voices for that one day, their voices now got override 
by corporation by what? Multiple days of counting votes. You understand? If we got 100 people here today right now to vote y'all, it shouldn't be no more than less than what? 99 mm -hmm. to 100. Not that we got to count more votes. One day. And this is what happening. We're counting votes to the person that we think that the people like or we put there have the number of votes to win the election. And we see that right there don't work for the people. What you think about the two? What you think about not even the two candidates? Because Smooth said somebody else. Smooth was the main man's name. We got more than two candidates, but what do you think about the two, uh, Trump and Kamala? Well, personally, right, I tell people we got to act like we didn't hear and see what we heard and seen. Okay, we got to stop acting like we didn't hear and see what we heard and seen, meaning the same things that they use against these young kids, video camera, voices of gunshots on these cameras. You seeing it, you hearing it, and then you seeing somebody run away, okay? You're seeing it. I'm an Indian. You're hearing it. Um, she's the first Indian. Now you're seeing the first black, you're hearing the first black. What did you see first and what did you hear first? You understand, like, we got to stop acting like we didn't see this in 2015. We didn't see this in 09, and now we're in 2024 hearing something else. And then when we hear somebody say stuff like, oh, the black jobs are getting taken away from the black people, we got to stop acting like we don't know what the black jobs is, y'all. The NTAs, the waterfront, the laborers who build bricks around here, moms and grandmas who work inside these hotels on Packer Avenue and stuff like that. This is the black job. We all was not now a what? A nursing assistant that we got. Half of y'all niggas don't want to take care of y'all grandmoms. What the fuck y'all was living under her roof? But now you got multiple fucking clients? Let's make it make sense, y'all. We acting like we don't see and hear what we're seeing and hearing now and know that body of work is not in that person. And this is why we're fucked up right now. So what you think about Trump now? I'm going to say it about him. It's not about the R. It's not about the fucking D. I'm not even one of them. When I sit down, I see... And I hear clearly, I see from George W. Bush, the father, to Bill Clinton, to some kids who might not know five presidents in the world, but know every rapper. I'm going to walk you through something. Bill Clinton, the other Bush, the son, Barack Obama, the first black president, to Donald Trump. What do they all got in common? They all president. Now, the first four I just named, what do they got in common? War. Okay? When it's war, who money do they use, people? They use taxpayers' money. Okay? So all the presidents that his name did eight, four, eight, whatever, multiple years, y'all never seen a dime. But 2016... I got Donald Trump to come in there. I don't give a fuck about the D or the R. I'm just showing y'all facts. He come in 2016 as this president, and the only thing he stand out with is no fucking war. No war, okay? That's number one. Just picture it. I just showed y'all four presidents that gave y'all war and went to war with your taxpayer money. So now I'm showing you another president came in 2016 and gave y'all no war. But he gave y'all money back to y'all without y'all not owing nothing. Fuck all that pandemic and all this and that. No. It wasn't a war. And this is taxpayer money with no fucking strings attached. It's not a D thing. It's not an R thing. It's fucking facts and what's fucking right. When it's no war, guess what? Y'all got money. 
Y'all can take care of your own stuff. But when there's a war, y'all got to fund everybody else's dumb shit. And guess what? Y'all lose out and y'all politicians speak for y'all, they pocket get rich. Now let's go mathematics. Let's think about a politician make about 189000 250000 a year. You give a fuck, you get 10 terms in that motherfucker. Everybody pull their calculator out. At the end of the day, you should not walk out that bitch tax pay or taxes coming out your shit no more than with $2.5 million. How the fuck is y'all coming out? Millionaires, 48 million, 27 million, 30 millions. Now let's look at the presidents again. All y'all motherfuckers made money. But Donald Trump, the businessman, when he came president, he lost money. Not a Democrat, not a Republican. Is right is right, wrong is wrong. What is the fucking evidence showing us, y'all? Let's go back to the kids. This is ran past the camera. And we after we heard the gunshot, the evidence showing us that what? He just shot some fucking body. The evidence on this side and politics show that y'all motherfuckers over here is robbing the people. Facts. Right. So why Ryan, are we getting the Ryan, what do you think about the argument that uh Sleaze just laid out? Uh, he 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 made he made several great points. Um, um, I just I don't, I mean he I don't think it's the way it goes with the money thing. Trump Trump didn't make that call. That was that was a uh, that that was the D guys that made that call. His his name was just on the check. He asked for his name to be on the check. The, the D guys made that call and get that money back. Yeah, okay. I take I take that one. Hold Go up, ahead. hold up, hold up, hold up. Let I'm, him, I'm, let I'm him tell, I, I heard that already though. Well, that's yeah. why I'm agreeing with him because he's but, right about that. The D guys made that call. He told them, if my name ain't going to check, I ain't giving nothing out. So I'm not going to lie because I heard that already. That's right, bro. We're good. Well, that's, 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 to me, that's just nasty work by, by Trump. Like, what? I don't care if they get the bread, but like, if my name ain't going to check, they ain't getting the bread. That's nasty work. Um, All right. Um, the, the rest of them, you said, I mean, I think you definitely, <laughs> I can't, I can't say you ain't cover some, some stuff that I've, I've, I've talked about personally. Um, the, so the Indian thing, I'm I'm not too privy to that. Um, I'm not like I said before. I'm not a national politics person because I just think that shit's a fucking clown show and is is they fucking with my TV programs and all that when that shit's on. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a I'm a local politic person, state and in, 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 in whatever city or borough you live in. Um, I I mean like I said, I'm a I'm. I'm going to participate in this election. Uh, I am a, a registered Democrat. Um, I, I am going to vote for the young lady. Um, uh, Trump and and Trump's vice president. This is what I. This is what I. Something I've been pointing out to people. Whatever state he's from, abortion is already illegal, right? He said if they win and get in, hey. if you're to go to the to the next state over and get an abortion, they'll have the right. To go into your medical records, first that's HIPAA. So me, HIPAA's gone. <laughs> They'll have access to your medical records. All right. Uh, find out where, where you got the abortion at, um, and um, and when you come back home, they'll send you to jail. Now, some people don't believe in abortion. Some people do. Me personally, I don't give a shit what you do. Um, if you don't want that baby, you might not need that baby. So don't just bring some kid in there that you don't need. Um, you can go back to ancient time. You know, married people supposed to, to have sex and reproduce. Well, that ain't what we do now. We we have sex for recreation. That's just what we do. Um, and shit happens. And when shit happens, you got options. You either gonna keep it, or you're gonna get rid of it. And if you keep it, you're responsible for it. Everybody not a responsible person. I just don't think that you should have to go to jail for uh. For, for for about to maybe put a, a another strain on your life all from just having sex. So that's that's something I was really heavy on with that. Also, um, with police presence, uh, what's the young lady name that uh the young lady uh they they, they broke into her boyfriend's house and they they killed they shot and killed her. Um, what's her name? Oh, uh, what's the name? Um, I know you talk about a couple well, years ago. And the last there been too many of them situations to know so, exactly what you talk about. So, so more details. So the so the thing so the thing with that is those, those cops just got off and um the part of the Trump he he wants police to have that kind of power. My thing is 
they might not be able to go to jail for life, but I feel like what they did was wrong is it, it, a no knock warrant. I mean, you come to my house, I'm pronounced, I'm gonna bust your ass. Um, you talking about the, the girl from Texas that the cop just killed? Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 she, no, not her. That's right. new. This was old. When the that's why I said it, it's too many yeah. of these situations. It was a, it, 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 it was a, is the name Brianna? Is it Brianna? Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Yeah. Oh, wow. they, they, they just got. They just let them cops off, and, and I, mean, I just, saw like, that the other day. Copy. I'm yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. nasty. But this is the kind of shit. Like he, he wants law enforcement to have that kind of authority. I'm sorry, a new knock warrant is just <laughs> nasty. It's like, but what I'm saying to you, bro, like it's still law enforcement, right? That's going mm -hmm. down there. At least let's stay in our backyard real quick, right? Because we got a fresh one. That cop right there just killed that boy in that car. We, like I said, we all heard, before the tape even came out, we all heard he had a gun. We, like, Where'd again, we all, heard, we all heard this shit verse that this man is inside a car, when dude rolled the fuck up with a fucking knife, and the knife, last time I checked, can't go through a fucking window. But yeah, you I... shit 14 through that motherfucking window. You understand what I'm saying to you? Now it's dropped from first to third. Like, this in our own backyard. So, oh, yeah, for sure. so when I look at cops, I'm looking at cops everywhere, but I'm looking at cops in Texas, what they did, a no-knock warrant, to what I do every day, taking my kids to school, driving in the street, to a fucking cop now mad because I left him, I buck traffic, whatever, and when he get to me now, it's anger, and he's supposed to be a cop, supposed to be better than mine. He's supposed to de-escalate the situation. He add to the situation. What a bullshit story. And then it got backed up. Again, in our backyard, by a judge that seen the same video that we seen and feel that ain't a first degree. That sound like corporation and friendly work with me. Because why? When you look at it deeper than that, the judge had the lawyer that represented her in a fucking divorce. So again, we're talking about one individual who did some dumbass shit behind a badge that we know we need these cops for. Then in our backyard, we got the same motherfuckers with the badge doing this record shit right here that's only 10 miles away from us, not 13,000 miles away from us, or 1,300 miles away from us. I'm more scared okay. where the fuck I'm at. So that shit's going on everywhere. Like, with drilling, it's going on everywhere. With politicians being in a position, taking power in their own hands, going on everywhere, every state, bro. So it's like, it's not the people no more. It's the corporation saying, fuck the people. And the people is tired of it. So it's not a DRR thing. Is right or wrong? All right, smooth. Jump in. You jump back in here real quick because uh, we're getting ready to wrap up. I don't really want to go too long. Yeah, this is the podcast hey, drop baby, you talk about it. podcast drop through. That's how that's how we get you to tune back in. We don't want to do it all day. Mm -hmm. Do it all day. You don't come back tomorrow. Smooth. You jump in now. Uh, you jump in now and you tell me what you think about uh, what Sleaze was saying. Well, first, you only got one though. You ain't bring, hold up. You ain't bring enough of the class. You gonna spark up one joint though. You ain't pass out. Pass off. <laughs> All right, bro. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here being bad. <laughs> I'm gonna be oh, honest. Yeah, you block radio bro. network every Monday, two o'clock. The videos out. Go ahead, bro. To be honest with you, like some of the points he made, uh, I agree. With, you know, uh, like I, I, I'm not a Trump guy. But you know, I wasn't somebody who just hated hated him uh, either. Like I said, I, I the position of president is, is 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 really a weak one at this point. Uh, that's why the local elections is is, is so important. But the, like the point he made, like the one thing Trump got going for him is the border situation. So when when the brother was talking about uh, the black jobs, that's really come down to you know what I mean immigration. That's what that. Uh, that conversation really boils down to, and like, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. you know what I mean, like, I'm not too far off on his opinion on immigration. You know what I mean? Uh, period. You know, it has to be checked. Or, you know, like we see it up here, uh, uh, you know, on this East Coast, bro. Like they, they came in droves, bro. <laughs> they a lot came of bus in loads, droves. Yeah. Yeah, they was taking them every week. Yeah, no, they got thirteen thousand on the EBT card. You can't even get two hundred fifty dollar cash from them. They got five thousand cash on that drink, bro. You understand? I'm in Trent you? So on, I'm in, in Trenton. Trenton's a safe haven city. So that so so you already know how that worked. Like now, nah, I mean, they could just come here. So it's like 
it's a whole different. You go outside, like it's it's just completely different. You know, you're the outsider, right? Huh? So you the outsider make you feel like now? Uh, uh, yeah, and so in, in certain situations, that's how you feel. You feel like an outsider mm -hmm. in your own neighborhood. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when you talk about the corporations, and y'all was talking about the police. See, the police union, to me, is like a corporation. That's a big business. All this shit is business, bro. Mm -hmm. And him supporting them, he, like, he support that business. You feel me? He in line with them. So, so so automatically, I'm in conflict with him because I already know they on some bullshit. They want that leeway. They want that power you about to give them. So they going to abuse that power. Ain't, to me, that shit ain't got nothing to do with race or nothing. Because there's a lot of, like I always said, uh, and, uh, you know, Hank could, could vouch for me. On play, my my more my worst encounters with police has always been with black officers. Never white. It was always the black officers who was always on some bullshit with me. You know what I mean? Always. So I always looked at it as the police are just, you know what I mean? They they own shit. And if he in mm -hmm. line with them and they bullshit, it's just like, nah, I mean, I ain't I ain't really fucking with him like that. You feel me? How can I? Like, how can I, I agree with you. Thing, the, I agree with you with that. The one thing that you brought up, Sleeves, that I had a problem with, because <clears throat> niggas have been saying this shit since they got that six hundred dollars, or uh, they got what was it like the twelve hundred? That is the shit right there that I was talking about earlier. Uh, where niggas would be like, because I got this twelve hundred dollars, that's my man. Shit was popping when Trump was the president. That's the shit that I hate. Fuck, they they're not, they not so talking nothing about policies. They're not talking about nothing about. The way you well, like you said, all the shit that you see, all the shit that you say, but you talk to you literate, you talking to people that focus, hold up, people don't focus on none of that. They go instantly and straight into I got eighteen hundred dollars, so that was good for me. And but I'm gonna keep, continue you. to rock with that because I got that. All right, but when you nobody remember. told you that politics were set up to specifically cash you out, you yeah. being no. whoever that it is. <laughs> But my thing is, bro, right? It's like it's like with every pre uh, every president, right? They got a slogan. If you look at it, right? What did Barack Obama give you? He gave you a Barack a Barack a Barack phone. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's that, like he again. Gave you hope. He, gave, he gave you hope with a fucking he phone. Hope. Then you go, bro. And then what's they gave you thirty five dollars for medical? Like yeah. you only gonna remember the best good shit you ever got. We're talking about a class. We like, damn, so Michael Jordan won the slam dunk contest, bro. Why? He came in first place, bro. You're going to always talk about that joint he did from the foul line with his tongue out of his motherfucking mouth. You understand what I'm so, saying? So, because why? So, so, That's all you remember. So one, thing, one thing I'm going to credit Trump on, and I, listen, motherfuckers at work keep me saying this shit. The nigga got game, cuz. The nigga know how to campaign. His, his team is the chip. Just, just tell me this. How I many young niggas got they, got they first stack? They got their first stack at 18. With that, with, his, with that check with his name on it. You're hitting it right, you're hitting it right on the that's spot, it. bro. But that's that, that, the gun that's everything. The nigga's not flip. a politician. The nigga, yeah, no, the, no, nigga no. Talk, the nigga's a but businessman, he, so he can talk his ass. He, he can be entertaining but he, but and all play, that. But he's playing a game. And to me, Democrats, go, bro. Democrats gonna play the game. For example, I told I told him when he first when he first ran, I'm like, yo, he's gonna win. I'm sitting in the room with some powerful motherfuckers like, Ryan, what the fuck are you talking about? And I was mm -hmm. like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna be real basic with y'all. I told him how old I was at the time, and I and I mentioned WWE, and I yes, told him exactly mm -hmm. where I was going. Mm -hmm. Shapur said at the day, bro. I, I, told him, listen, I told him. I said there's only one person that beat Vince McMahon at that Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm gonna tell you the second person is is Donald Trump. He fucked him up and he shaved his head. And I said I was for what y'all said is a whole bunch of Americans that look like me, that's white, that's whatever that remember that moment. We fucked mm -hmm. the ball. He always. This motherfucker, I, I watched Lil Rascals the other day. The guy, he was in that. Like, like the, the, the motherfucker, he 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 gets Bob by face recognition. And to me, yeah. when Democrats See, is, the game, it, hey, it's right. the Democrat. This is the thing: is the Democrats are playing politics, and this nigga's playing popularity. This nigga but is right. a wrestling character. Where bro, I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna talk all this shit, and I'm gonna get you to come. Yeah, I'm going I'm to get in here and I'm going to talk all of the shit that you think is funny, is cool, and all of that, and I'm going to get niggas to vote for me. It's the same shit with wrestling. I'm going to get you to buy these fucking tickets. Bro, I'm gonna talk I told cool. you, are you I, mad? Hey, yo, can you be Jordan, mad? Can you be mad? I said, Jordan, I said, look, 
I said, you might as well get your colleagues, right? The Philadelphia delegation. I said, y'all might as well go down WrestleMania, right? And one of y'all, the youngest one, get fucking powerbombed. I said, I bet y'all won't have a voting problem again. Fuck you mean? I said, bro, y'all gonna be yeah. the niggas that was the ring. People will never forget it. They, you can run yeah. the most bullshit policy. This, this the you, go, right? you can run bullshit policies. If people know what you look like and, and, and you a safe face, you gonna get whatever you gotta get done. Yeah, that's that's and just it, like I what said. What he just said, we... people never people never forget, bro. That's why I said that you gotta understand what people seen and what they heard, bro. This is what he telling you. People would never forget that you never stepped out the motherfucking block and said, "I'm going over here to go rock with them." Because why? You didn't need them. Now that you need them, it's too late. It's like a commercial right now. This commercial better because why? He been around. He's been selling these spots. He been motherfucking everywhere you turn around with somebody black from Ali to whoever you want to say. Y'all, like I tell people, tell me one thing that man said racist out of his mouth that you heard. You can go right back to right now. Fine. What you seen, what you heard. Fuck somebody telling you that. What you seen said, Ron, I just seen this right here. I pull up and said, Ron, this is what he said about us. Nobody can do it. But we've been no, programmed. No, no, he, no, no, no. He, he was talking to no, me. Like I said, you, you're, you're, you're saying it to me right now, and I'm telling you right now, when you say it to me, we have Google, we have YouTube. You cannot Bro. race that shit nowhere. So again, I can go and say, they said Colin Harris is the first Indian and go right to YouTube right now and pull that shit the fuck up. And now they say she's black. I can pull it right the fuck up. You cannot go and show me that this man said, oh man, these black motherfuckers get on my fucking nerves, man. You can, I'm going to show you right now. I can show you Jesse Jackson. I can show you Jesse Jackson right now on YouTube where they, they thought the cameras was off, his mic was off, he talking dirty about another fucking black man named Barack Obama. You remember that? Yeah. And don't forget. Again, show me and tell me when people don't forget this motherfucker right here. Situations, though. I mean, this is again, like I said, I mean, just because you, just because I'm not mad. I'm not mad at one person for being mad at another person. We, I know there's one nigga that you don't like. There's one nigga that I don't like. Like just because yeah. you're black, don't mean I'm supposed to just rock with you un unbiasedly. Um, but we ran very long here. You know, <laughs> we'll wrap this one up. I one, I want to say I appreciate y'all for coming on. Two, we might have to turn this into something else. Hey, listen, um, I, 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 that's what I want though. I, I really want all of us to like get in person. We can sit down. Yeah, you know, have a couple of these. You know, a little bourbon, and, and just sit down and talk. Cause I'm, I'm a white guy. Kind of, I'm a white hey, guy you. myself. I'm like hey, a Ryan. <laughs> Hey Ryan, hold up. Wait, yeah. let's in. Wait, we can talk about that off mic. Let's end the show right here, y'all. That's episode one hundred and fifty three. I appreciate everybody for hitting the button. Uh, also, don't forget podcast link live show October the nineteenth. Get your tickets now. Hit the link in my bio at Custom Hustle World on Instagram and Custom Hustle Co on Twitter. That's my clothing line, and at H two H Cleaning is my cleaning company. Y'all, thank you for coming on. We or out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>